Okay, so the next browser is Firefox. So I am going with a Firefox now. So I have a Firefox and what I said for Firefox we require two add-ons. Two add-ons called Firebug and Firepath. At present we don't require Firepath but at, uh, we require Firebug at present. Okay, so just go to google.com and say download Firebug. Yes, type fire, download Firebug and you will get many options. Prefer always. I have a question. We want to find these unique attributes for every web element in every page. Yes, because if you want to perform any action on any element on any web page, you have to identify, right? Because you want to perform an action. Without identifying, you cannot perform an action. Because any manual test case, if you are trying to convert it to an automation test case, the first thing is identification of that particular element on the web page, which you are going to do using these approaches, with these approaches. Able to get me Prabhu? So, don't take every option, best you can go with add-ons for Firefox from Mozilla add-ons. Go over there, click on it, click on it, and you will be add to Firefox options. Once you click on it, you will get an option called Fire, add to Firefox option. Once you click on it, see, you will get here, download now or after loading it will show you add to Firefox. The reason my computer has stepped version, hope everyone has the older version, uh, latest version of browsers, you will not have any problem. About 23 or 24 you will get this option, you can click. But if you have an older version, at the bottom you are given with a compatible table. Compatible table. You can go with any of these versions. So any compatibility version you can just click on that and it will take you to the uh, older versions Firebug website and you can download it from there. But I'm sure everyone will have a newer version. So once you start, once you install in your computer, you should see a bug symbol. Just close the old computer which you have installed, close that and open fresh one. So close that and open fresh one and you should see this bug symbol on the top right side. If you click on F12, you will get this. But if, it's, if it is Windows 8, you just need to click over there. Okay, how long is this class? Yes, uh, it may take another 20 minutes, Chandana. Another 20 minutes, I would like to wrap up because I just completed only IE, so I want to even wrap up on FF. Another just 20 minutes. Okay, so. Windows XP, Windows 7, click on F12. Windows 8, just click on that bug symbol. So once you click on bug symbol, a small pop-up comes up at the bottom. So this is called Firebug. Okay. Here, I want to take a website. Here, I want to take a website called Deal for Loans. I want to take a website called Deal for Loans. So, I want to identify this particular text box called full name text box. So, take the pointer, which is similar to IE uh, develop toolbar. Click on that pointer, place the cursor on the required element. So, X on this. Immediately, that element got highlighted. But here, the one disadvantage is that you will not see any blue color region. You will never see any blue color region getting highlighted. If you want to see the blue color region in the firebug, 
whatever the element got highlighted, whatever the tag got highlighted, when you mouse over on that, that particular full name or any element, text box or radio button, every element will get highlighted. That says that this particular tag is identifying that particular web element. This particular tag is identifying that particular element. Okay, so when you mouse over on that, that will be highlighted. Here, in this particular file path, you will not see any attribute section similar to IE developer toolbar. You will not see any attribute section. Okay, so here within the tags, here within the tags, you can see the attributes defined ID, type, tab index, on key down, style height, name, okay? So, as I said, the first preference goes to ID, and ID, I have a value called full name. So, I'm once again placing it in the notepad. So, if you see full name, this is the value. So, and taking this value, copying this value, and as I said, here you don't have any such box, I don't have find like that. So similar to IE9, IE10 or IE11, I have a search box over here. So I'm placing, before placing the value, I need to place the cursor at the starting HTML tag. The reason is I want to check whether this value, a full name defined for the attribute ID is defined only for full name text box or for any other text boxes. So I place the cursor at the starting HTML tag and place the value immediately, immediately I place it immediately filtered many tags. It filtered these many tags before clicking on the next and identified one particular element. So how would I know which was that element? This was the particular tag that got identified. So when I mouse over on that, just mouse over, just mouse over on that, you will see the element which is getting highlighted. It's a full name text box. So this value, full name, is defined for this full name text box. So can I say that particular value is identifying this text box strictly? Can I say this value Claim is identifying this full name text box uniquely. Yes or no? Answers. No. Okay. So, yes, we cannot say because we have many tags defined below to check whether this value is available anywhere else. So I'm just clicking on next. So it is not going out of the tag. If it is not going out of the tag, can I say that this particular value full name is identifying this particular full name text box uniquely? Yes, I can say this particular value is identifying it uniquely. So this is how you use five bug. Always remember the five bug sh should highlight HTML tab, not on console, not on CSS, not on DOM. Always remember it should hi highlight HTML tab. Then only you can see all these things HTML source code over there. Okay. So now I want to identify email text box. So, when I clicked on it, this particular blue color region is highlighting this particular tag. So, I'm taking this value, again, placing the cursor at the starting HTML tag, placing the value in the search box, immediately a tag got highlighted. So, when I mouse over, it is highlighting email text box. So, I cannot say that this is unique because I need to check again. So, clicking on next so when i click on next it is moving within this particular tag 
So I can say that this value email underscore ID is uniquely identifying the email ID text box. 